Hello one and all, welcome to Classics on the Shoestring. Back on the Yamaha drag start today. I'm going to attempt to fit the rear mud guard. It's been rattle cam painted, so it's not 100%. The polish I used on it didn't really go too well, but I'm not doing it again. I just want to get this out on the road. Here's the mud guard I cut down, like I say it was rattle cam painted, uh, fresh wiring ready to go through to wire up the lights, so pretty much ready to rock and roll. Just got to remember how it's all going to go back together. Like I say, I used some polish on it that wasn't great. And it's marked it to, well, kingdom come, we'll say. Rear indicators that match the front are going to sit here through the original bolt holes. Now, the rear bolt holes on these, the threads aren't great. So I'm just going to drill them out, put these through, and use these as well as the saddle, as well as the front bolts to hold the mud guard on so don't know if we get it all finished up today because there's some wiring to do number plate light rear light just see how we go make a start by drilling these out drill them out bit by bit step them up We should have plenty of thread on the back there to get a nut and come with it. So, round to the other side, drill that out now. Can of GTs leaking everywhere. Right, that's that side through. Feels like forever taking this apart. I'm trying to remember how it went back together. Yeah. I think that goes under there, like that. I think the mug guard slips in behind it. Right, 
Right, if memory serves me correctly, this sits on top like that with these little push clips. You pop in the hole, push them down, one, two, three. Then this goes in under that so I can get to the wiring which is there. Right, that's it, through there, through there, through there. This then sits on here. Plug the wire in and put the other three clips in to hold it together. When the mud guard goes on, it just feels very, I don't know, loose. And it sits directly on top of these brackets. So what I've done is I've cut some old push bike in a tube to go over the top. That one I've cut a lug out of it so the bolt comes through. That one I'm just going to put over the top. This one I've cut a dimple so the rear bolt comes through for the mug guard. Just going to secure them with some electrical tape. And it might help, it might not, I might have to take them off again. Right, just secured these with some electrical tape to stop them coming off. They're rubber, so should be alright. Just to give the mud guard a bit of a cushion when it sits on there rather than rubbing on metal. Let's crack on and get it back on there then. That's better, it sits now nice and snug, no creaking, no moving around, all the holes line up, great. So let's plug this in, now I can't remember if that went over or under there, but we'll plug that in, that's the little connector to the wiring limit the rear, this then can go back on like that sitting back in super it actually went back together again this is just held with these push pop things I don't know what their proper name is body pins panel pins don't know but I like the sound of calling them a push pop you push them in and they pop Gentle persuasion. Pop. Right. That's all back on there. Can't say it's the loom. I have got to find some nuts for these. Make sure the loom's coming out over there. That's it, plenty of room. Right, let's bump this side in. Already done the other side. I must admit, I could have done with some black bolts, but I don't know, let's just see how they look once they're in there. Because the original ones were absolutely shot. Plus I'm not going back with the chrome strip that sits along here that's just going to be like that now mount the rear indicators we'll probably just get these mounted both sides today because it's getting rather hot out here and I've had enough we'll wire them up another day Red 
just long enough to go free. Get that set as levered as we can. that one on that side don't think it looks too bad that's the rear indicators mounted like I say they just need wiring in but I don't know if I'm going to get round to that today overall don't look too bad time I get the rear light on with the number plate coming down at a slight angle it will close some of this gap up and hopefully look right it's not quite a bobber because I like to say want to keep the rear pinion saddle to take the missus out on it if she ever changes her mind I'll buy a proper bobber kit for it but for now I'll be able to use it it's just so damn hot out here I've had enough today, left the wire in as it was for another day, another video. Thank you for watching Classics on a Shoestring, please like, comment and subscribe.